guys and today we'll be talking about another father of anatomy in the persons of uh, Mary Franco's Xavier Bischart okay Mary Franco's Xavier Bischart the focus today is to discuss the contributions of Xavier Bischart to the history of anatomy right so this is uh, the man that we have been talking about all right dead right now okay but this was when he was popping and all that so now we are basically talking about what he discovered and i feel this man was the person who started the modern histology that we now study so guys let's talk about uh mary zaria bistrat um histology began in ernest in the 1700s with the work of french scientist zaria bistrat all right who lived between um okay sorry his work the range during which he worked was 1771 to 1802 okay so until that time general anatomy was the descriptive order there was no studying of cells trying to see how the epithelium looks like or stuff okay so basically histology was started by Xavier Marie Bischart okay so um, based upon obvious characteristics such as location of organs okay so it was basically um, general anatomy trying to see like where this organ is where this organ is where this organ is okay so um Bischart specified 21 tissues or systems in the human body based on what he saw with his naked eyes so this man was not really uh, using the microscope that was actually used today to study histology so distinguishing these different tissues by their composition and arrangement of their fibers so it's from this is knowledge that we are now know that simple squamous epithelium, okay, columnar epithelium, pseudo columnar epithelium, all those histology stuff, okay, were from Mari Xavier Bistrat, right? This is another picture of him. So the things he discovered include epithelia. Um, Okay, he had uh, include epithelia of skin and digestive system. Um, he described the muscular system, the nervous system, connective tissue, and vascular types. Okay, so histology began to take on its modern form with the introduction of the cell theory in 1839, as the works of Otis Robert Hooke and all that. So now, at that time, tissues began to be understood. Mm -hmm. Not, at ba not as basic building blocks of living things, but as unique systems of cells with their own stages of development within the embryo, okay? So they were the ones that actually shed more light on development of different organisms too, okay? So we're ending this lecture with a histology slide, right? So if you're a, uh, a student of histology, you know that's your father of history is Mary Zaria Bistrat. And looking at this um, slide of histology, what would you say this is? Uh, this should be. <laughs> Don't worry, students of history will tell you, okay? So just edit this lecture with the histology chart um, slide because. And um, this were the contributions of Xavier Mary Mary Franco's Xavier Bischart to anatomy. Okay, he started modern histology. So that's it, guys. Bye for now.